I was extremely confused when I first booted up Final Zone 2 for a number of reasons mostly thanks to the collective misinformation of the internet and that dreaded process by which Japanese games are brought to the US. This is because the Genesis game I played as a kid named Final Zone is actually the third game in the series and better known in Japan as Final Zone Axis. This all becomes relevant because Final Zone 2 is a more bare bones experience with weaker visuals, almost no mechs in sight, and one, yes only one, boss battle in the entire game. While it may not be an improvement over developer Wolf Team's independent third title, Final Zone 2 is a much more improved title when compared to the original, however it cannot measure up to similar games on the PC Engine CD. Let's take a quick step back and explain this crazy franchise and its lineage. Wolf Team Studio was under the veil of publisher Telenet, whom we've already come to learn has a varied history on the PC Engine. The first title, Final Zone Wolf, appeared in 1986 for the PC-88 and MSX in Japan, and it was a top-down shooter that Hardcore Gaming 101 likens to Commando. Sadly, HG 101 also says it's a terrible game. In fact, the only notable thing about the original title is that it relied heavily on story, which was all about a Black Ops team of five that seemed to be the game's only saving grace. That apparently didn't make it a good game by any stretch, but rather a bad game with a good idea. When Telenet decided to fund the sequel four years later, it called upon a new team, Telenet Reno, to craft the experience. Now if you heard what I just said about Golden Axe, you know where this is going. Given how impressed I was with the publisher's previous similar title, Last Alert, I went into this one with high hopes and I paid dearly for it. While generally considered an improvement over the original, Final Zone 2 is a by-the-numbers repetitive shooter that will only take you about an hour or so to complete. It's still a vertical shooter, only now the visuals have been upgraded so it's a bit more like titles from the time such as Last Alert and Akari Warriors. You also have the ability to control different members of the team as you traverse the game's six stages, but for some reason that option only comes in halfway through. Still, it's a step up from the original title, which forced you to play as leader Howard Bowie the whole time. Each character does have a different gun and bullet type, but it doesn't seem to matter much since the enemies you're fighting and the levels you're traversing are somewhat the same. By the time you reach the final battle at the end of the game, you're ready for it to be over on account to the lack of unique gameplay. Now that's not to say Final Zone 2 is a complete waste of time. I have to commend the title for having tight controls, and until you realize how repetitive it is, you'll be having fun blowing away tons of enemies. It's still a game focused heavily on story, now complete with anime cutscenes, because after all, this is a Japanese CD game, to relay the story instead of stills and text. Pay no attention to the fact that the story is rather uninteresting, cheesy as hell, and at least in the English version, has dialogue phoned in exactly like we saw with Last Alert. Top, call off your mission. Bowie, the Zods! In fact, I can't be sure that this isn't the same team that voiced Last Alert either. Only this time, it's not bad voice acting that adds to the intrigue, but rather the bad voice acting takes away from it. There's also a random level halfway through the game where you play what is basically a vertical shooter similar to the 80s arcade title Tiger Heli, which I definitely had fun with. It's out of the blue and unexplained, but a highlight of the overall experience. Finally, the CD format isn't completely wasted on terrible cutscenes with bad voice acting. There are two appealing pop songs that creep their way into the soundtrack. I know some of you aren't into that late 80s pop tunes, but I totally dug it. So while Final Zone 2 has a few unique ideas and some lasting appeal, it wasn't the experience I've now come to expect from my PC Engine CD shooters. If you're an avid fan of the genre, you'll find it a fun playthrough, but all in all it sums up to be a relatively lazy effort from Telenet's Reno Studio.